Good day to you all. My name is Paul Andrew Hazel, Zadrick Shu to Google. Just a short note here. AI enthusiasm for the concept of lost or stolen conquest, earth, war, magician's pentacles of honor, in the production of the last presentation, preordained the writing of this story. It will be incorporated into the core conquest earth series of novels in episode two, The New Perils, The Hunt for Arajakal. I hope the day finds you well. Our story begins with Lieutenant Colonel Glenrig, recently promoted to adjutant of the reformed Zuvian Special Occult Operations Regiment. The sense of urgency was palpable as the officers gathered the three specialized GO teams. Alarms had sounded at the National Zuvian Monument to the sole dead of war. There were treasures within that fortified tomb. Aurorium Pentacles of Honor, Relics from the first global conflict, such as abyssal magazines for enchanted rifles that would no longer function because of the primary loyalty enchantments the war magicians of the past had placed on them to prevent misadventure. War banners that were read like scrolls by nefarious elder war magicians in the conflict and the remnants of many technology-driven, formerly animated and semi-sentient automatons a Zuvian term for any automaton that is primarily or exclusively geared for battle. Protecting these rare artifacts was a battalion of mixed defensive Zuvian troops and armoured vehicles. Some of them were PK magicians with specialised sweeping vision and occult detection spells. They had little chance of detecting the incoming threat, however, as it was streaking through the lower atmosphere at tree height at Mark 3.8. The Hadium Dust Airburst missile, Haddam, detonated flawlessly in a crimson cloudburst. The thundering, starkly aorta-hued particulate thundered, reverberating as the minuscule shards of the ultra-hard deathly element re-accelerated and collided with parts of the delivery system and target area. The red cloud of death expanded directly over the planned initial dispersion point. The powdered blast of enriched, exponentiated and magnified glowing red hadium dust sprayed hundreds of kilograms of the deadly, life-sapping crystalline mineral onto the Zuvian monument and its garrison, identified by XRA as Tomb Guard. It was well protected from artillery indirect fire, and usually a chemical crystalline or even corrosive attack of this nature would not have been effective, as the Zuvians would have simply sheltered safely in their armoured barracks, gun towers and bunkers that protected the national treasure in the third largest city, in Shu, Brine Bay. The problem was that the syndicate that had purchased this particular missile had invested heavily in the refining process of its payload. Hadium is a hazardous crystal to be anywhere near. It literally saps the life force and magical power from an individual until they are dead. The closer the proximity, the purity and quantity has a pronounced bearing on how fast this life-ebbing process takes.